Hey folks, welcome back to this edition of Ben's Bits. We're continuing our thoughts from last week's video about investing on what matters most to us and how it affects our investing habits and our portfolios, right? Uh, I highly encourage you to view that video if you've not had a chance to view it yet because the concept or idea is the framework that we're going to be building upon this week, uh, as well as some following videos along the way. Uh, and I'd like to take a moment to say thank you for your feedback and letting me know how much you enjoyed uh, that video and the others. Uh, your feedback is really important to us because we're here to discuss the issues that are important to you. And that's why we make these videos and why we will continue to. So thank you for that. Can keep it coming. Uh, this week, we're going to be discussing the concept of income versus growth and how it relates to your portfolio. Or more poignantly stated, does a particular asset produce income or grow the portfolio, right? Now, Ben, aren't they the same thing? Well, not really, because it depends on the, the intent behind procuring the, the asset and where you are in your investment journey. Really, until you've reached a point where your income is by far surpassing your expenses and your portfolio, in the sense that the income it's producing is just growing at a phenomenal rate, then you really should be focusing on income and taking care of not only your immediate needs, but your short-term and, and retirement needs as well. You know, Once that occurs, only then do you really add in assets that are designed to grow the portfolio. Otherwise, you're severely hampering your capital and it's going to take you longer, take more resources. More importantly, the, the legacy that you can leave will be diminished because resources and capital were mismanaged in a way. Um, not really mismanaged, but, but, but it, it can't grow at the rate that it's supposed to. You know, an example would be a, a younger couple I was talking to a few weeks ago. Uh, they're actually the reason for this bit. Wonderful couple, uh, really have good heads on their shoulders, but they were at a point in life where they were just beginning their life together, newlyweds. And, and they even had a few rentals already in a portfolio that were passive, uh, but they were weighing the idea of adding another rental to the mix. But when they were asked, is this for cash flow or for growth? The reality of the question sat for a few moments. You know, they didn't really see a big difference between the two. And as the dialogue went on, they realized that that particular investment wouldn't have been the best asset for what they wanted after all, because it would severely stunt the income that they were wanting to focus on, because that's what mattered most to them at that point in life. Now, uh, they, they've switched their outlook and now they're back on track with investing on what matters most to them. And that's focus on maximizing income producing assets that will eventually lead to growing the portfolio in a much more condensed time frame. In fact, they'll most likely hit their goals about a decade before. Uh, and of course, it also depends on market conditions and things like that. But it'll definitely be sooner than they expect, I'll wager. Uh, so that's it for this edition of Ben's Bits. Join us next week as we continue this concept and really discuss whether an investment uh, is best for a quick fix or is it a right fit and how it could affect your portfolio. So we'll see you next time.